Black Method Gang. How to get bolder shoulders. I'm going to be telling you guys how to get massive, ginormous shoulders because shoulders is literally, I've come to discover the best, the best muscle group to build, guys. I'm telling you this, it's going to give you the frame. Honestly, shoulders is on top, bro. I swear to God, shoulders, bro. I'm telling you, the trick is shoulders, bro. But before we get into it, follow me on Instagram, Mac underscore method. I always forget to shout myself out on Instagram. Follow me on the gram, bro. Mac underscore method. I'm going to put the links below in the comments, in the description. Follow me on IG. I'll be posting on IG a lot. And a lot of you guys don't even know that I have an Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram. But let's get straight into this. So this is highly requested because... On my IG, bro, I'd be posting gym pics. I'd be posting pump pics. And shoulders is a huge, huge um, strong point of mine now. I Shoulders was actually my weakest point at one point because I, I didn't train it. I didn't know. Not that I didn't know how to train it, but I just didn't do it like I do now. And within four months, bro, it just blew up. It, to the po You see it, bro. Come on. This is not even, I'm not even pumped right now. This is crazy. Anyways, let's get straight into this. So first I'm going to be talking about what I have discovered. So these are tips that I hope I'm in the shot because I'm using the back camera and I can't tell. How to get bolder shoulders, what I have discovered. So I'm going to go over five things I've discovered about training shoulders. Now, this is what I personally discovered over training them now for a while. Um, basically, you can work shoulders every single day straight up you can i don't care what anyone says uh me personally i get people have different you know what i mean genetics or whatever but what i've noticed is that you can train shoulders every day because they recover so quick they recover so fast to the point where i don't even feel even if i go hard on my shoulders they're fine the next day straight up i'm not gonna go as crazy as i did if i did a like a shoulder day or whatever but I can still stimulate them at the end. I do shoulders every single day. I'm not saying I do a full on, you know what I'm saying, crazy ass shoulder workout every day. But what I'm saying is even when I do my crazy shoulder workout, right? Because usually if I do shoulders, I'm always doing it with um chest or something. That's how I do it, which is some people might have problems. This is what I do, bro. Anyways, the point is... um. I'm going to do it the next day again at towards the end of the workout, but I'm not going to go as crazy. I'm, it's more and more like a stimulation type of thing. I'm going to do sets still. I'm still going to do three sets. Um, damn near four sets on lateral raises always, rear delts always, if anything, you know what I mean? But I, obviously it's not going to be crazy to where I'm going all out. You know what I'm saying? So you can hit shoulders every day, bro. I'm telling you, after when I started doing this, this is how I started getting these shoulders like this, bro. Straight up. Like, this is how I started getting these shoulders. Um, The heavier, the better. Literally, the heavier, the better, bro. I'm telling you. Straight up. I know you want to have form. You want to have this and that. But for shoulders, I feel like, personally, this is all personal, bro. Obviously, you want to maintain form for the most part. Yes, of course. But I think going heavy on shoulders is the wave you your shoulders are going to grow because it's like for shoulders it's not really that much um like cut you like there's not as shoulders is more you just want them big it's not really about the definition on them for the most part yeah you get the cut right here but it's just from them being big you know what i'm saying so th i realized that when i started living lifting heavy of course i lift light as well on shoulders focus really on form but for the most part i'm lifting heavy on shoulders bro for the most part i'm lifting heavy like i said if i'm going the next day stimulating them i'm gonna go light and more focus on form base but if i'm doing a full shoulder day like straight up i'm heavy as hell form is still there but not as perfect but it's more about lifting the weight up, bro. Of course, I try to emphasize my shoulders. I'm not saying use every body part to bring the weight up. No, but you want to you wanna go heavy. If you can go heavy, go heavy. I always go heavy on the shoulders, bro. Always. And I try to get to that eight rep range when I go super heavy. Like, I'll do um 90-pound dumbbell pressing, shoulder presses, for eight, ten. 
You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll bring it up there. Like, I go heavy on shoulders, bro. Uh, train rear delts more than any other head. This is fact. So, a lot of people, they always train the front delt for some reason. They're doing shoulder presses all the time. I'm not saying don't do shoulder presses. 100% do shoulder presses, but a million percent. But you want to train the rear delt the most because the rear delt is what everyone lacks. Like, for the most part, I'm lacking it. Um, it's way better now. Like my shoulder is huge now, but when I didn't do them, it, it, cause the rear delt, it, it helps with the circle, like with the roundness of it. That's actually the main thing that makes the shoulder round and wide is the rear delt and the side. You know what I mean? But don't really focus on the front delt. Now, if you have a crappy front delt, which most people don't have, if you're a, you know, frequent lifter, experienced lifter, for the most part, you're going to have a decently developed front delt. Your front delt usually is the most developed, not even usually, 100% is always the most developed head of the shoulder because bench pressing, any chest exercise, you're going to hit that head. You know what I mean? When you're anything, you're you're always hitting the front, uh, the front delt. The side delt, I would say is the second and then the second most developed. And then obviously the rear head is the least developed because let's be honest, bro, we don't really hit it like that. Or at least we don't hit it as much as we do the other heads. Um, for people that lift, but they don't really pay attention, they don't even do side delts. And side delts is huge. You need side delts. I spam, I damn, I spam it, bro. I'm, I'm going to be straight up honest. You're going to see it when I go over my actual shoulder workout. But I spam side delts, 100%, and rear delts, a, a trillion percent. I'm oh, Rear delts is every day of my life. Every single day I'm hitting rear delts, bro. And that's how I've seen the growth. I've seen massive growth in my rear delts. And they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And same with my side delts. I spam them like crazy, like crazy. So that's my tip. Um, Definitely train rear delts. And I basically put ignore front delts because I'm going to be honest. I don't even do front raises. I don't do anything specific for front delts at all. I, I don't care because the, I get, I work them out so much doing any other thing. Like when I do handstand pushups, when I'm doing shoulder presses, when I'm doing bench press, when I'm doing anything incline, I'm hitting the front delt, bro. I don't need to hit my front delt. I, I don't, I don't, I don't need to hit it, bro. I'm, I'm going to be straight up. I don't waste my time doing it because it's like, I can focus more on the other heads because it's so developed that I don't need to hit it. If I'm just going to develop it more for what? Like, there's no point. It's my front. I'm, I'm perfectly content with my front delts, guys. I don't need to do a specific nothing, bro. I'm, I'm usually doing, not usually, I'm always doing side laterals and rear delts, 100% and shoulder pressing. Because shoulder presses is amazing for the side delts, for all your heads, really. And it does help the front delt. If I do one specific front delt exercise, it's shoulder pressing. And that's not even specific to the front delt. It's all around shoulders. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, so last thing is depress traps. Avoid using them at all costs. You have to depress your traps because a thing that I noticed when I was doing, I didn't even notice is I have super developed traps. <laughs> and honestly it's great i love having huge traps but i don't want my traps to be bigger than my freaking shoulders and what i noticed what i was doing was every time i would do a side lateral right i by by just habit by just um i wasn't even conscious about it i would just i would always like contract my traps i would raise them up like this shrugging basically and then i would do the side lateral or I would start at a depressed state and then without even realizing, I would gradually start using my traps, but I'm not noticing this. But then I started to notice it and I'm like, wait, hold up. I keep shrugging up when I'm doing side laterals. Maybe it was because of the weight. Part of it was definitely because of the weight at the time when I was like, um, you know, younger, I couldn't lift as much. I'm saying younger. This is like a year ago, like <laughs> literally. Um, you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, yo, hold up. Let me not do this. Let me depress my traps. So I'm not using any help from the traps, just straight up, just the shoulder, mind, muscle connection, shoulder. I'm still lifting heavy, not as heavy, 
now I'm doing the same way I was using my traps for. I'm, I'm doing 35s and I'm only using my shoulders because my shoulders are strong as shit. I've got them super strong at this point. Um, but that's besides the point. Uh, so I, when I started depressing my traps and just focusing on shoulders, the growth, bro, the, the striations, I, I need to put these, the thumbnail you're going to see is, bro, the shoulder gains are, <laughs> they're my best i think my shoulders are my best um muscle group to be honest at this point um and my maybe my arms i would say too but man i'm trying to tell you guys the shoulders brings everything together clothes they rest on your shoulders bro yes the back is important 100 percent. but let's be honest when you wear anything it's on your shoulders bro the shit is on your shoulders when you get that frame, it's going to make you have that that treetop, bro. That treetop V taper because the wideness, the width, the Death Star delts. Look at Derek from more plates in all days, bro. Yes, he's huge as hell, obviously, but his shoulders are ginormous. And you see that like you're like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, work the shoulders out. Do it every day. I'm trying to tell you, do it every single day. I don't care what anyone says. Take it from me, bro. Look, just look. Bro, look at my shoulders. Even when I'm doing this, look at my fucking shoulders. So let's get into my shoulder workout, okay? That's my five tips. What I personally discovered, I'm not saying this is going to work for everybody. I'm saying this worked for me. So I'm trying to tell you it might work for you. All right? So this is my shoulder workout. This is what I do. This is if I'm doing a full basically a full shoulder day or whatever um obviously like i said i usually pair that with chest for the most part and um and i do um some arms as well because i usually do upper days guys i do i'm an upper lower split split and then full body people are like people always crap on that split i don't care this is what i do i've got the best games from it and to be honest it's more like a hybrid split because i do i I don't do random things at the gym. It's very, the way I train is super specific to what I do. So it's like, I'm not going to get into this. The point is, this is my freaking shoulder workout, bro. So dumbbell shoulder press, right? This is after I warm up. This is after I get blood flowing, stimulated. I'm ready to go. Okay. So dumbbell shoulder press. I always start off with this for the most part, depending on the day. Um, this is the full shoulder day. So Five to six sets. I do a lot of sets on shoulders, bro. I'm telling you guys, I do a lot of sets on shoulders. Now, it's not always five to six sets, but for the most part, it is. It's usually five sets. To be honest, it's usually five sets. Um, So I overload. I always overload. So I usually start one set is going to be 45. Uh, for now, now, it used to be 45. I'm starting. I usually start at like 60s now. I start at 60s now, and I do like 12 reps. Then I go up to 75. I do another 12 reps. Then I go up to 85. Um, and then I'll do like eight to 10. So what's that? One, two, three. And then usually I'll go up to 90. Um, and then from 90, I'm doing, I'm trying to hit 10 sets or 10 reps. Usually I can, depending on how I am. Obviously this all depends, but I'm just talking general 90 and I'll stay at 90 four sets i'll do it again by the second set i'm probably hitting six i need help on the movement um and then for my last set i'll drop down to like i usually drop down to 65 70s and then i'll finish it off with that weight so i go up and then i drop down for the last set and usually i go till failure on that last set so then after i do that uh, I superset with lateral raises and rear delt flies, okay? So this is four to five sets. I always superset with this. I do lateral raises first. I usually do them with 30s for the most part. And this is I'm and this is just general because sometimes I sit and sometimes I stand. It really depends on what I'm doing and how I'm trying to stimulate it, whatever. Honestly, when you sit, it's harder because you you don't have um, the stretch is like more or whatever, but either way, I do four to five sets. Usually I hit around 14 reps with this for the most part. I'm trying to hit 14 It's 10 to 14. Really? 
and rear delt flies. I can't do them well with 30, so I usually drop down to 25s, 20s. And this is the same thing. So I usually go up in weight. So I'll start, I'll start with 30s, to be honest. I'll start with like 25s or 30s, depending on how I feel. If I feel really good, I'll go up to 35s, try to do that for two sets, then I'll drop back down to 20 or 25s or whatever, and then just superset or not sorry, not superset. I'll um go till failure for like two sets on both. And I do this on both. This is how I do it, guys. This is my shit. So don't tell me, oh man, what nigga, this is what I do, bro. And I've gotten my shit like this, nigga. So, anyways, rear doubt flies. Um, well, this is this should have said reverse peck deck peck deck fly. So after I do that, I go to the peck deck, right? And for this, this is really, really good. So it's the thing where you go like that, you know what I'm saying? And I squeeze so damn hard on this. I squeeze like bro it's like i'm about to explode this is a trick to the rear reverse peck deck flies bro you have to squeeze for the rear delts in general you have to squeeze so damn hard when you do this this is the only way you're gonna get the gains bro i'm trying to tell you squeeze hard as shit i go heavy as hell and um i try to i depress my traps when i do this and i squeeze the living shit out of my freaking um my rear delts bro my back my upper back that's how i do it and usually i do four sets of these super heavy and failure too i always go on failure on the last rep or last set for like every exercise that's just how what i do um and honestly the results speak for itself bro face pulls i don't even count the fake i don't even count reps or sets i don't even know how much i do i just know i do a lot bro i'm in there doing so much face i don't even know how much i do just know that i do a lot of face pulls bro a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and to be honest for face pulls it's more of i don't really go that heavy with face pulls because i'm doing so much reps it's it's like and face pulls to be honest i feel like you can't really go that heavy because your form is going to be so bad you're end up you're going to end up like injuring your freaking thing instead of getting any results from it so i don't really go heavy at all on face pulls i go enough to where i feel the burn instantly and I'm just wrapping it out, bro. I don't even know how much I do. Just know that I do a lot. So I just put a lot in here. And the last thing I do is upright cable flies or upright cable rows. Excuse me, where you go like this, whatever. Um, As far as this, it's the same thing. I'm usually doing four sets, depending, because at this point, my shoulders are like destroyed. So, but in reality, I'll do like four sets, to be honest, eight to 10 reps. Uh, am I going that heavy on this? Yeah, I'm going pretty heavy on this. I can't lie. And this is just a general shoulder workout that I do because I have another version of this where I have shrugs in here, where I have, um, it's basically the same things, but it's different in terms of like, I'm doing uh cable instead of dumbbell. Like, it's not really, I'm not going to make another workout, bro, because it's the same workouts. It's just, it's probably doing cable or I'm doing more, like a military press instead of the dumbbell press. Like, but at, at the end of the day, it's the same type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I could easily just switch this out with freaking uh, cable fly, whatever. Like it's the same shit, bro. It's just what, what I'm doing that day. This is just a dumbbell version, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Because to be honest, if I'm going with the cables, that's when you, you can really focus on that shoulder and get that crazy you know what i mean but me i'm a dumbbell guy i love dumbbells i i just love dumbbells bro okay that's just this is my dumbbell shit i don't want to hear bullshit talking about oh man this is more out. i don't care nigga this is what i do bro anyways so this is what my typical shoulder workout day is gonna look something like this what is that five exercises mad reps mad sets and honestly I'm hitting them every day, bro. I can't lie. I hit shows every single day of my life and I've gotten the best results ever. I always get people telling me, well, what's my shoulder workout routine? What's this? What's that? This is it, bro. Um, it's going to get you right. To be honest, try this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want more videos like this on specific body parts, uh, muscle groups, whatever, I got y'all. I'm going to start doing more workout stuff. So that's it for the video. Again, follow me on IG. If you got to the end of the video, 
comment down below unchained i want to see who the real ones are i know who the real ones are you know what i mean i i can shout y'all out right now to be honest but uh follow me on ig bro mac underscore method mac underscore method i'd be posting you're gonna see my pictures bro i'd be posting mad pictures i'd be posting what i eat i post mad shit on instagram to be honest and i never shot it out on the youtube for some reason and if you want to join the coaching program click the link below anyways i'll see you guys on the next one gang